Back in the gi, guys. Today we're gonna do a simple technique, basic technique. We're gonna do clock choke from turtle. Let's get to it. Oosh. Okay, so we're gonna start off in turtle position. We're gonna do a different video on back takes from here. Um, but for now, I wanna control my opponent. One thing I have to be aware of is if this arm is too uh, deep, he can catch the arm and flip me over. Uh, we're not gonna bother with that for now. So what I wanna do is I wanna reach behind his uh, armpit and control his arm, okay? So I'm leaning on top of my opponent. I don't wanna leave too much space between our legs for him to regard, yeah? I'm gonna go in, control his elbow on this side of the forearm. My other hand is gonna reach in for the choke and catch the far side lapel. Now what I could do is the hand is in the armpit, I'm can open up the jacket a little bit, yeah, to make some space so my hand can go in deep. So this side hand, my right side hand, is gonna go in on the far side lapel here. Now, what tends to happen, a lot of people wanna finish here, they wanna start stretching. Now you see, Frank is able to lift his shoulder to mitigate some of the pressure I'm putting on him. He can just lift up with his upper body. So instead of me leaning on his hips, I'm gonna lean on his upper body. I'm not gonna lean on his armpit and pull him up because he will just lift up and take the pressure off. So I'm gonna put my hip on the back side of his skull, past, my, past his shoulder blade. So here, my hand, because it's hard to see in a few seconds when I'm leaning in, my hand is not just going to stretch with the wrist, but I'm going to stretch the arm a little bit as well. That's the, the mechanic I'm using for the choke. So we're in deep, controlling the wrist. I'm gonna step out and slide my hip over and past his shoulder here with one big step. Now if he wants to lift his shoulder, that's where he gets stuck. Now I can just finish from here with my wrist, and get pressure, but to get even more pressure, I will uh, stop pulling with the arm. I'm gonna walk the choke all the way in and start uh, squeezing in for the choke there, yeah? I could base my head on the floor as well. Just gonna show that real quick, so we're here. Opening, getting a choke. So the hardest part is getting this, this hand in, but I keep this one on the unhook, yeah? So I keep it on the unhook, start opening up, getting the lapel, far side, controlling the wrists. I'm gonna let go a little bit of the tightness of my grip so I can show more of the, the walking and the pressure that I do there before uh, Frank passes out. So we're here. I'm not gonna be on his shoulder blade. So you see his shoulder blade is in between us. I'm gonna step through yeah. here. I could base my head on the floor and walk, but I like to stay a bit more with my pressure on this side as I step, 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 yeah? If you have some pressure, because I let go of the collar a little bit now, if you have some pressure, you shouldn't make it to three steps. One or two should be sufficient. I should put pressure and get the clock choke here. That's it guys, very easy choke. I usually combine this with back takes because as they start working for the choke, it opens up space for the back take or vice versa. Just play around with it. See you in the next video. Peace.